today we are going to discuss the topic ground glass ground glass opacity or in short form we can see we can tell ggo so ground glass opacity in hrct la ggo refers to a term in which there is a increase in the opacity of the lung or there is the haziness in lung there will be increase in the opacity or the haziness in the lung with not associate obscuration obscuration of vessels so obscuration of vessels will not present but there is will be increase in the opacity or the haziness in the lung so we can say this is the ground glass opacity it is a non specific finding it could be either due to minimal interstitial thickening so minimal interstitial thickening or the air space disease so repeat ground glass opacity in hrs ct lung there will be increase the opacity in the lung or there will be haziness and without the obscuring the vessels it could be because of the minimal interstitial or the air space disease now we will see the example of the ground glass opacity in this first image we can see there is a haziness or the increase in the opacity in the lung with not obscuring the vessels in this case there is a bilateral or in the both the lung there is a increase in the haziness so this is the example of the pulmonary edema pulmonary edema the vessels remain visible in the dense lung region the patients had acute dyspnea due to pulmonary edema in this case this is upper lobe been bilateral lung field there is increase in the haziness increase in the haziness patient present with the acute fever and dyspnea so this is a, on further study we got a bronchoscopy cytomegalovirus so this is due to the cytomegalovirus this is the another case of the ground glass opacity on at the high lung level in the bilateral lung field there is an increase in the opacity or the haziness in the bilateral lung field on further study we got the pneumocystic pneumonia there is another case of the ggo with the peachy ground glass opacity present with the progressive dyspnea in the period of month this is a peachy this is a normal and this is a increase in the opacity this is a normal increase in the opacity this is the normal increase in the opacity this is a peachy ground glass opacity present with the patient present with a month of the or the two month of the uh, fever and dyspnea history this is a case of the hypersensitivity pneumonitis now the question came in which or the what are the differential diagnosis for the ggo so for the ggo there could be either acute condition or it could be chronic condition acute or chronic in acute condition there could be pulmonary edema hemorrhage pneumonia now it this pneumonia could be due to the pneumocystic pneumo zero vessi or the viral pneumonia it could be because of diffuse alveolar damage acute interstitial pneumonia hypersensitivity pneumonitis so we repeat there could be the pulmonary edema or pulmonary hemorrhage pneumonia pneumonia could be the pneumocystic zero vessi pneumonia or the diffuse viral pneumonia or diffuse alveolar damage acute interstitial pneumonia hypersensitivity pneumonitis now we will discuss the chronic differentials for the ground glass opacity it could be because of non specific pneumonia d squamati interstitial pneumonitis hypersensitivity pneumonitis alveolar proteinosis sarcoidosis lipoid pneumonia or invasive mucinous adenocarcinoma repeat non specific pneumonia diffuse or d squamati interstitial pneumonitis hypersensitivity pneumonitis it could be subacute or chronic alveolar proteinosis sarcoidosis lipoid pneumonia or invasive mucinous adenocarcinoma so this is the case with the ggo present in the bilateral lung field with interlobal septal thickening this interlobal septal thickening with ggo present in the alveolar proteinosis and giving a typical sign of the crazy pavement crazy pavement sign so this 